include everything. All right, guys, here's everything you need to know about JavaScript string methods. First up, the length property. The length property will allow us to get the length of the string. For instance, hello would return a length of five. H-E-L-L-O, one, two, three, four, five. You can also find a string within a string using the index of property. Now keep in mind, this will actually return the first spot that the string is found, the uh, first index spot. You also have the string method last index of where you'll look for the word, except you want to know the last version of it. So in hello world, hello world, it'll return the second world first index spot for that. You also can slice a string, meaning you can cut out part of that string by using the slice method. You put in the first position parameter and the second position parameter. Where do I want to start the slice? Where do I want to end the slice? Now two parameters are optional. If you omit the first parameter and just put one in, it's going to start it at the beginning of the string. So if we slice with just the 10 parameter, it's going to slice the first 10 letters off of that and return the remainder of the string. You also have the option of putting a negative number in as one parameter and then slicing from the end. So maybe we want to slice the last 10 characters, we would then put negative 10 into there. We also have the replace method that you can call on strings. It takes in two parameters. One, the word that you're looking for, and two, the word that you're looking to replace it with. So let's take the example hello world, and we want to change it hello to goodbye. Our first parameter would be hello, and we would then search to replace it with goodbye. Strings also have the concat func functionality that will allow you to combine one or more strings. You can combine multiple strings as a parameter. Now if you combine two strings, such as hello and world, and using only one parameter, there won't be a space. Now if you put in a first parameter of a space, comma, the second string world, you'll then have the hello world that's spaced out evenly that you're looking for. Now say you only need to get one character from a string, you can use char at for that and just list the index spot. So target the string and then say char at, we'll say zero, in our example hello world, and we'll return an H. Now if you want to convert a string into an array of strings based on some parameter, you can use that during split, such as on commas. You'll take A, B, C, D, E, all with commas, and then we'll break it up. Or we can take hello, comma, world, comma, goodbye, comma, world, and then it would break it up into hello, goodbye, world, and all the various strings. All right, so last but not least, we have to uppercase. Now this is going to allow us to uppercase our string. So if we have the default string hello world in lowercase, it's going to uppercase the whole string. Just like how we were able to uppercase the whole string, you also have the ability to lowercase it, the whole string using to lowercase. So if we have hello world in all caps, we would just call the to lowercase function on it, and then it would lowercase the rest of the string. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and support me on Patreon. Check out wayup.com. It's a great way to find full-time jobs, internships, part-time jobs, and one-time freelance work for the college student. All you need is a .edu email. It's completely free, and you'll help me out in the process too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.